Good evening, family, friends. Welcome back for another episode. Thank y'all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I decided to do something a little different today. Get outside in nature in my hometown. I'm at the historic Bienville Square, which has just been re- What you call it? Renovated. Yeah, renovated. So today is Tuesday. May 7th, 2024, and I'm outside of this year. I'm outside. <laughs> and it's beautiful out here. Look, look, on the warm side, but it's beautiful. And I'm grateful to be here. Grateful that y'all are here. And I'm back with another episode. So, just looking around. Let's look at this. Let some people pass by. So anyway, this episode, I'm just reflecting back over my life, right? When I wasn't able to do stuff like as simple as just come sit out here and look around, look at the squirrel, and just enjoy life. I couldn't do this, right? My life was in shambles, a complete mess. I was reading a comment on one of my other videos recently where the guy was like, he's living in his car and he's trying not to crash out. And that's what made me decide to do this topic here from looking back over time when I was in that very same predicament, but I ain't had no car. So, I, I got put out of my good house. So I was homeless, right? A lot of people don't know that, but that's part of my story of why I go so hard now. Why I don't BS when it come to life. Why I don't play around and take life as a joke. Because at any given time, it can happen. I, I, I don't judge nobody. I don't look down nobody. When I see homeless people, when I see people strung out on drugs, when I see what, what have you, people down there luck, I don't judge nobody, I try to give you a helping hand. But I also stay away from people because I know how crazy people are. And, and the haters and all that too, so you gotta play both sides, you gotta understand what you're dealing with. So, to that guy, I wanna say a whole lot. Because I'm not just somebody who's talking from what they learned in a book on a TV show. I'm somebody who actually lived seen some of the best times in life and some of the worst times to where I know to tell you no matter what it looked like hold on ain't no checking out no crashing out no giving up just suffer a little longer suffer a little while longer I know we don't want to suffer at all I know I don't to this day I don't what I learned is suffer a little while longer but I want to talk about what got me in that situation. I don't know your situation, why you sleeping in the car, why you home, I can't speak for that. But my situation was, and it's not the woman fault, so don't take this the wrong way, like Big Wall blaming him being homeless on a woman, no. It was all my fault. See, what I was doing, I was chasing her. I wasn't chasing paper. I want to lay up around her instead of laying up around some paper, some money. That would happen to me. But I want to feel good. Woo! I need that little breeze, y'all. So my question is, to any man out here find himself in the same situation, you tripping and you disappointed and you hurt Cause your girl act like she don't want to be bothered with you. She's not showing you the love that you feel like you deserve. So in order to make her do that, you think laying up under her more is gonna make her want you more. It's gonna make her love you more. I'm just talking about my thought process of laying up around a woman but my pockets was empty. And I'm, I can't figure out for the life of me 
Why this woman don't want to be bothered with me? See, I believe in that real love crap back then. True love. You said you love me. I didn't get it. And didn't have nobody to tell me otherwise. Like, hey man, get your ass up, wait around that woman, get out there and get you some money. Damn love. I was too busy, stuck up around her, worried about what she doing. The way I couldn't even go to work. Well, I didn't want to work either, but it didn't help that I worried about what she gonna be doing while I'm at work. Cause I know she don't love me right. I know soon as I'm out of sight, she doing her thing. I was too stupid, or too immature, or too lost to realize Get you some money, get on your feet, and all that'll change. Why are you trying to lay around this woman all day long and you broke? Why you even want to see a woman? Why you want to see anybody and you broke? Because doing that, I can't speak for your situation or why you home. But doing that made her say, you know what? You got to go. I don't want no broke ass man. And by me being broke, I couldn't afford to find me nowhere decent to go live. Me and my warped thinking, I want to spend more time with her to show her how much I love her. That ain't how a man show a woman how he loves her. If you want to show your woman how you love her and your family and your kids and everybody that you love them, get out and go sacrifice. Get out and go make sacrifices for your family. That's how you show them you love them. Not by laying up on them, kissing them and smooches and bringing them flowers and drawing hearts in the, in the sand. That ain't how you show them you love them as a man. A man shows his love by his sacrifice. Even the love for himself. Do you love yourself? Are you willing to sacrifice for yourself? Are you willing to give up the drugs, the alcohol, whatever it is that got you homeless and broke? The addiction to that woman where you can't let her out of your sight to go to work for eight hours. Are you willing to do that? To make that sacrifice for yourself? I was. So I found myself Pockets empty as hell, busted, dusty, broke. Sitting up around her in the name of love. Like a damn fool. I'm gonna move y'all. Get y'all another little scenery getting hot right here, so let me pause. So yeah, I'm back. So what kind of mindset does a man have to where he rather lay up around a woman and he ain't got no money? And he ain't out trying to get none. He ain't at home resting on his day off, spending a little time with a girl. This is an everyday thing. I'm following her around like a puppy. Young, broke, busted, and disgusted with no goddess, no male figure, no none, none of that. Why are you laying up? Somebody listen to me right now that's in the same situation. That woman is not your top priority. Your survival is. Your resources is your top priority as a man. Don't let society fool you with all this romance crap and all this uh, love would have you. Talking about your, a toxic masculinity and all that foolishness. A man should get up, go get him some money. You ain't got time to be laying around no woman and you broke or you gonna be homeless, sleeping in your car if you got a car, or sleeping in an abandoned building, abandoned houses, what have you. Eating wherever you can eat, bathing wherever you can bathe. It can happen to any man. 
just like that. Life is not to be played with. Life is not a game. Life is not a joke. I don't play about life. Don't play with me. Business over pleasure. I'm just giving y'all a, a few little tips here. Business over pleasure. I'm not telling you how to cure cancer or none of that. But I'm telling you how not to be broke. How not to end up homeless. Sacrifice those bad habits. That's the main way people end up homeless. On drugs, alcohol, what have you. And mental illness. Or like me, just sorry deal. And I had a nervous breakdown, so that don't help, help either. But once I overcame the mental part of it, the grind took over. The hustle took over. The memories took over of how people treat you from your family, friends, strangers, whoever, of how people treat you as a man when you broke. I couldn't shake those memories. Couldn't get that out of my head. And I don't want to. I remember them days like it's today, like it just happened. I'll never forget that unless I lose my mind. And as, as of now, my mind is sharp. So now I'm able to just come out here to be able to square and relax. I ain't tripping. So what are you going to do about your problem? Cause you may find yourself homeless, busted, and disgusted. But what you gonna do about it? First, you must address why. They're the why to everything. They're the why to everything. So why are you homeless? Are you strung out on drugs, alcohol, or like me, just lazy, sorry, want somebody to give you something, complaining about the white man? What? What's your why? When you find out, when you address your why and be truthful to yourself of why you're in the situation you're in, now the what? What are you going to do about it? If you decide, if you figured out that being on drugs and alcohol is the reason you're homeless, get rid of the drugs and alcohol. If the fact that you don't, you, you wouldn't work on a job that you ain't like or they ain't pay enough, take your ass to work whether you like the job or not. And work there until you find something better. And put up your money. Don't try to ball. Impress nobody. Save your money. Figure out your why and then figure out the what. There's the why to every situation. And there's also a what as in a solution to every problem. You got to find it. It's up to you. Don't wait for nobody else to find it for you. How bad you want it? How bad you want it? Are you tired of your condition? Or are you just talking? You want somebody to pat you on the back and feel sorry for you? That ain't going to change shit. How bad you want it? I wanted it bad. I wanted more than I want to breathe. Success. To not go back to being invisible. People look at you like you stink and you just got out the shower. I ain't never forget. And don't you forget. Get up, get out, and do something. Get it, got it, good. Bye.